much to say because i've been working since morning i woke up very early this morning and started working asap like immediately i've taken breakfast and my smoothie my green smoothie uh right now i have about a 30 minutes break yeah so i want to quickly tell you guys about this book i just finished and also this one too i read this before picking this one up but this was the one I was reading yesterday night when I was trying to make my hair. Thank God I was reading it that way because at one point I was getting bored of this book. But because I was doing something else, I got, you know, engrossed in it. Can you see? I don't know. I feel like I'm not going to try to do this, redo this in one week again. I'll just try to push it to two weeks because yesterday I was so tired. I slept very late. I could not even do my skincare uh, routine yesterday because I was scared to pour water on my leg and at the same time <laughs> and at the same time I was only able to do my face but not like the regular masks and all that so I should be able to do it if not tonight then tomorrow night because I like to do all those kind of stuff in the night not in the day yeah so back to this book Buried Beneath the Baobab Tree by and that would be Trisha Wabani Wa Wahubani. Wahubani. It talked about the old incident that happened, uh, the Chiba girls kidnap with the Boko Haram and stuff. Like this book is actually heavy and quite sad because you get to see how the girls were being brainwashed. You see that through the eyes of our friend Sarah that later had to be forced to transform into a Muslim. But the, the, the book is about Yata. Yata is a Christian girl in the north. Now I found this book really really, how do I say, it's close to home because my mom is from the north. My mom is Aousa and everybody just assumes that you are Aousa, you are Muslim. But there are Christians there too, she you get. Then it also talks about how Boko Haram is not even true Islam. Like, it's not, it's not portraying what Islam is supposed to be because they are, they are kind of like doing, going against it. Like, how can you be a, 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 as I was about to say Christian, how can you be a Muslim and you call yourself, you are doing the work of the Lord and you are killing people and you are saying you are doing the work of the Lord. Like, that's bullshit crap, right? So if you are not into forceful marriage and stuff like that and you don't want to really know about the Chibok girls period because I think it happened around 16, I'm not really sure about the date but yeah I remember that time because there was this girl that my mom was always praying for like my mom was always praying for them every day on in our morning devotion we are always praying for the Chibok girls release that time but now you know everything has already died down but you guys need to, it's worth a read, I think you guys should read that. Then the second book I... I just finished you and me on vacation by emily henry i read that book book lovers and it was really nice okay it was really nice i liked it i've forgotten the ratings i gave it let me quickly check Mom, well, i've read a lot of books for you guys i've read 27 books are you kidding me oh i gave book lovers like 4.5 and 5 stars i'm not really sure so i i think i gave it maybe 4.75 which is actually really a good rating but this one i am honestly torn between 3 and 3.5 and the story was always dragging on and uh, i was getting tired at one point but it was actually really really nice it was enjoyable because this ending was really worth it at the end that, that didn't come out right it was already obvious from the beginning of this book that the two of them were meant for each other but they were just scared that they would lose their friendship and they didn't want to even share them it was just so crazy you guys need to read it i just felt like it was so freaking long they were traveling around that was so cool that part like you get to see the culture in different places and then something happened <laughs> but what's your problem 
well i just finished recording reaction video i don't know what's happening like i'm in a funk or something but i'm going to get myself out oh i've just been not needed to record anyway so that's besides the point i was just waking up i wanted to watch some Catch a small game and all no, play just... ball. Yeah, I won't let go. Rotten on rooting for who you gonna choose. It's all I want. Ball leaving on the hard road. Whatever happened to you, it only happened to you. So do what you must, but just don't do it. Does. Roll on the bus, do what's the fuss. Said it like you know. Nice. I'm actually in a hurry right now. I'm going out. I need to get charger for my laptop because the other one i don't know what happened i think it blew up so i'm taking it with me i don't know if it's the charger head that's faulty or the cord that's faulty babe i'm ready okay the cord or the head so i'm just gonna take it with me and i'll firstly check shop right pounds more i'll check there first to see if they will have it and i'm also taking my laptop along in case and i'll use the opportunity to also get my cotton swabs so i want to take a picture of this book outside card you know you find this office nail file mm -hmm. oh and i also want to see if i'll be able to get a new sd card for reactions because i i think i need a separate sd card for reactions and then a separate sd card for vlogs and, and normal sit down videos for my normal channel i hope i'm going to get one today this is my bag i've not carried this bag in <laughs> in a very long time We have a lot of mosquitoes in this house. All the mosquitoes will have died. She brought it to me, she got it in the bag, got me eating that farm trim like a farm uranium popping her the spinach doctor. I think I'll take my camera. Not comb your hair. I carry my camera because my phone is slow. The battery of my phone is slow. But the thing is, I feel like I might now be scared against you. Like, I'm always shy. I don't know why. Even though I keep telling myself, oh, nobody cares. Let me do what I gotta do, you know? But I'll still be shy and then I'll not now still upload. Uh, still record. But I'm tr I'm holding it in my hand. I just hope I don't get shy. <laughs> We just got home and like I said, I was too shy to record, so I did not record. Well, I was able to get the cord stuff. We tested my laptop and we realized that it was the cord that was the problem. My class starts in the next 15 minutes. So. Then we went to shop right too. I finally got the cutting swabs, cutting pads. I got spinach and lettuce. Have you guys tried this yogurt before? And it's low fat. Per 100 gram is 48 calories. And I think that's actually going to be really good. Cord. Yeah, I'm happy about that. And I also got Extreme Pro Scandix Exit Card. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> that's it. I just finished reading this book. This book! <laughs> oh my god, it's so good it felt like i was reading about real people like real superstars real celebrities everything was just it feels so real like i even tabbed it can you guys see this book <sighs> malibu rising is about the rivers family since i just finished this is still fresh in my head there are four children june and mika the father and mother of hudson katharina and nina and then jay so four of them they are all their story like i don't know how to explain you guys well you guys just need to read this book read this book <sighs> when i started it was a slow read i was like what am i reading about go, go, go. then i started like the way their lives it, it, it like it, as if you are as if you are them <laughs> i don't know how to explain but you guys you just see their their life their secrets what they're trying to avoid their fears and everything is in this book but 
Yeah, so in this book, Karisoto was mentioned a lot of times and she was mentioned as a bitch. And I have Karisoto. Should I read Karisoto is back? Or I should just read this, The Silent Patient? So I'm going to ask Bay because this silent patient, I'm sure if I start it, I will not want to drop it because according to what people say, it's a thriller and it is really, really mad. Baby, this one. He picked the silent patient, so we're going to go with the silent patient. Then I'll read, I'll read Karisoto is back after. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> this would be so good. Five stars. Five freaking stars. What? You don't know how it feels like. It feels so good. <sighs> I don't know how to explain it, but I love this book so much. <laughs> Today is Saturday. That's what I was supposed to say in the beginning of this. Yeah. I just paid a vendor for this one. Seven of her, seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Uh, Tumiche said she has it, so I just paid her for it because I've been looking for that seven of husbands of Evelyn Hugo like since forever. <sighs> Silent patient. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> Guys, look at him. Look at him. Mm. And you guys would think I'm the one that's wicked. Why are you covering the camera? Nothing. You're, you're closing my laptop. I'm with yeah. the team. Imagine. Let me just even close. Oh. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> guys, he put his head in my nose. Uh, he put his leg. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm like, your leg is too hairy. I've not edited the vlog that's supposed to go up tomorrow. I'm becoming lazy, oh Jesus. So I want to edit now. Stuff. So I'm just picking up all that I got from specifically Christians. Oh God. Where are you going? Let's go to a bar. Yes. You want to paint? Guys, we want to paint, we want to paint, we want to paint. You see this place? Everywhere, including the parlor. We'll just do the room for today. So, let's let's do this right. Let's do this right. I'll edit, I'll continue editing later. So basically, we want to do this wall. As you can see, we have this horrible. So this place is also bad. Yeah. All these places like this. And also this wall here, because we should put our leg on the wall. So no. You, most especially, you. So this is the paint. I got this paint like a few months ago. No, last year. I got it last year since. And also filler. We have this filler. I want to use it to fill like the walls, especially these kind of places. We don't really have that here. <laughs>
Made me wanna leave, made me wanna die It was all a dream, got lost in your eye I could never leave when you were by my side You always made me feel like I wasn't enough Oh baby You feel like torture After all this time you're just a liar You're burning in me just like fire I'm just driven by my own desire You know how to kill me my first time using this thing. This is how it looks like. Oh, sorry. Like this. I've never used this before. What is that? Eye patch. Eye patch. Okay. Yeah. When you are doing your... Well, is it when you have the... Like, like your eye is falling out? No, my eye is not falling out. No, I'm not sure like it's cleaning up literally. It's like... I don't know if I put it well. I think I didn't put it well. Let's try again. It actually has this texture. Can you reduce the bottom of your game? Okay. It looks like rubber at the bottom here. Like And then this part feels like clothes. Uh, like cotton, so yeah. yeah. So now I leave it on for 30 minutes. I'll go take some selfies. I think maybe I moved it too close, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, guys, look at look at look at that wall. I, I think I remember the last time I was sitting down here and I was like, ah, God, that place was very ugly. But look at it now. It's so cute. Oh, my God. Anyway, I lied. I, I am about to do my skincare this morning. Or oh, let's say afternoon because my class starts in the next uh, 30 minutes. And I wanted to tell you guys about this. This is my green smoothie. Uh, everybody uses this. You know, there's one cup that everybody uses like that. But on me... I'm using this jam, uh, you know, this mayonnaise cup. Yeah, that's what I'm using. And now that I got, uh, you guys, now that I got generator, yeah, 
Do you know that yesterday was the first time we put it on since when we got the generator? It's crazy because when there was no generator, the light was doing yama yama. Then now, we now bought generator. The light was now has been static, like there has been light consistently. So I'm like, these people are just freaking the care. They just want them to spend money, yeah? Anyway, uh, my SD card, I don't really have much space. I think everybody should read this book. This book is fucked up. And by fucked up, I mean it's crazy because at the end, you just be like, ah. So this was like, you, uh, okay. So I just want to tell you guys, the, the book is mad. I put spinach. I don't know. I should put a lot of stuff. Like normal stuff I used to put. And then I had that almond nut into it. But hey, the book is about a woman that shot her husband in the head five times. Yeah? Five times. And after that, she refused to say anything. So there's this psychotherapist. Yeah? Physiother is it physiotherapist or psych psychotherapist? I don't know. Psychiatrist. Ugh, I forgot to know. <laughs> so he, was, he said, only I can make her speak. And when you read the book, you realize why he's the only one that can actually make her speak. Like, no one else could have made her speak but him. And then it will shock you. The book is slow in the beginning, but with time, like, you start to build up, build up. I mean, it took me three days to read this because... I have work to do and now I have to stop recording and vlogging because I want to edit my as the guys are full. so yeah that's it you guys Crazy. you need to have somebody you discuss book stuff with right so <laughs> and I sent her a freaking voice note I sent out two voice notes and she responded and the last part she said here is this book has freaking stressed you well eh, Yes, I'm not gonna lie, the book stressed me. <laughs> like, oh <laughs> it's fucked up. Oh my god. This is the next book I want to start reading because I realized I, I didn't read this book last month and I moved it to this month. And I'm like, I'm about to move it to next month. I don't want to move it to next month. I want to read it. I'm supposed to read Carisoto is back right now, but let me read this one first. Ah ah what's wrong with the book? Why is that I don't want to read it? 